multipliers actually work inside of Royal High? This is my question that I'm going to be answering in today's video. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is C Sharpie and I make content like this all the time so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos today i am going to be doing my farming routine inside of royal high which is going to the new school doing all the classes grinding for diamonds and then going to enchantix high collecting all the diamonds and then going to sleep in your apartments and i'm going to try this without and with the multipliers to see if the multipliers actually benefit you so right now i don't have any of the multipliers so let's just get started right now i have 38,388 diamonds so i'm going to make a new note here i'm just going to say royal high and i'm going to say no mult pliers that's probably I'm just going to say none and then I'm going to say start 38,388 and then we're also going to do end um, and then it will be the end result so let's go do my farming routine and let's see how many diamonds I will make you will see a speed little thing with a little voiceover from me so let's just get straight on into it and let's start in three two one let's go I just want to hop on here and kind of explain what I was doing in this whole process Basically, in this process, what I do is while I'm waiting for classes to start, I go and collect all of the diamonds outside of this school. As you can see, that is what I'm doing right here, right now. And I don't know, I just find this process very easy. For some reason, I was having a lot of time and effort i had to put a lot of time and effort into getting my locker combination right because i just like um for some reason i forgot it for, i don't know why anyways <laughs> i was moving around moving grooving and we are doing these classes and we are doing them perfectly basically what i'm trying to do is in this case scenario you're trying to get as much xp as you can and then while getting this XP, you also make a ton of diamonds in this process, which honestly, I find this to be a really good process, even if you don't have the multipliers. Obviously, it's extra helpful with the multipliers, but even without the multipliers, they still are like a very good, they like are really good tips and tricks and just stuff in general i have watched videos on like how to make diamonds very fast or something and um i just like find them very helpful i watched the this youtuber called call me Haley. she makes real high videos and she did a super in-depth tutorial on how she makes the diamonds and that's kind of how i make diamonds so i'll make sure to leave that video in the link in my description so you guys can check it out if you're interested and just kind of knowing what my farming routine is because her farming routine is kind of what i try and copy because it works for her so why won't it work for me you know what i mean but i'll just leave you guys to watch the rest of this speed run thing in silence So we have officially done a whole day of school and it looks like we made approximately a thousand gems. At the start, we had 38,388 and now we have 39,000 387 so if i collect just one more diamond 
I got a hundred. So I'm going to say the total for this is 999 because I did not pick up that one extra diamond. So logically, I did not hit that 1000, but now we are going to go that school day took way longer than I thought it did. I've been recording for 24 minutes. This is probably the longest recording I've ever done. And it's just about to get longer. So let's go to shopping. Go to the Game Pass shop. And I am going to buy the quadruple diamond. So this game pass is a little bit pricey, um, but I still will have like 1,311 Robux afterwards. So I think it's worth the purchase. So <laughs> we now get times four diamonds, which is super exciting. So now with this times four diamonds, I am wondering how many diamonds I'm going to get in a school day. I forgot to go sleeping. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, pop the bubbles. <laughs> okay. So, let's pop these bubbles. I got 90 diamonds. And we're going to go and make note with start. I have 39,400. 477 and then let's see what we get at the end and then we will see the total so let's just go ahead and re-teleport so maybe the server will like revamp and we'll go into a new server where it's like daytime again where it's like 5 a.m in the morning um because that's what we want okay no that's not what I wanted. Okay, I think I'm going to go have to teleport to a new place. Let's go teleport to Earth. And then let's go teleport back to here. And let's do this day with them. With them. the diamonds I got with the multipliers without so make sure to stay tuned for that because it'll be really helpful to see do the multipliers actually work and if so how effective are they once again they will all work in the long run and in the long run they will all be worth it I can guarantee you that but once again just so you know this is the exact same farming method routine that I normally do. I actually shortened my farming routine. So normally I'd probably be making more diamonds, um, but I shortened it for both with the multipliers and without. So let's just go ahead and watch the rest of this <laughs> clip and I'll see you guys back when...
what am I saying? 42,360 gems. So I have a calculator with me. So I'm just going to type in 42,360 minus how much did I have before? 39,477 equals, oh goodness gracious, oh no, 2,883 diamonds. So let's just put this down here. So three, six, zero, and then we were able to obtain 2,883. So if we put that into perspective, let's go 2,883 minus 999 equals, oh, I pressed clear. Oh, oopsie daisies. Um, wait a moment. 2,883 minus 999 equals 1,884 diamonds. So in one school day, I make around 2,000 more diamonds than what I would normally do. And I actually shortened my routine. Normally I'd go to Enchantix and then go back to my apartments, but just to make this editing go a little bit faster, even though it's going to be an absolute tedious task. Um, I just decided to shorten it up a little bit. So I would definitely say in the long run, the multipliers are worth it. But that is all for today's video. If you did enjoy, please like. It took a really long time to film. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!